Boeing is a very important company to the U.S. government, not the least of which for its impact on the economy, but then its impact also on the U.S. military. Behind me, you see perhaps home to what is Boeing's vertical lift division. That's the folks that make the Osprey and Chinook helicopters that are so important to the U.S. military. They're not on strike, but the uh, airplane division is right now. 33,000 members of the International uh, Aerospace and uh, Machinists Union now walk in the picket lines, now in their second month of a strike, entering the second month. That has led to big changes at the company and a further delay in a very important aircraft for Boeing. That's the 777X. It is the largest and most efficient twin jet that Boeing has ever made, but it hasn't been delivered yet. And now deliveries of that aircraft are going to be pushed back yet another year to 2026. And if you know anything about the aircraft business, you know you don't get paid unless you've delivered aircraft. In addition, Boeing now saying it's also going to cut the 767 cargo jet. That has been used by FedEx and other big shippers around the world. All of that is bringing a big hit to Boeing's bottom line. Uh, preliminary results for the third quarter say they've burned through $1.3 billion in cash. Uh, loss per share expected around $10 a share when uh, the formal results are released and then write downs of multiple billions of dollars because of the loss of business. The uh, CEO, Kelly Ortberg, tells uh, his employees in a message, our business is in a difficult position and it is hard to overstate the challenges we face together. As a result, he, for, he goes on to say, over the coming months, we're planning to reduce the size of our total workforce by 10%. That, by our calculations, is about 17,000 workers. And those reductions will be both executives, managers, and employees. If you had the Boeing stock at the beginning of the year and you still have it, well, bad news. It's lost about 40% of its value, about $100 a share. In Ridley Park, Pennsylvania, I'm Jeff Flock with the Fox Business Network.